Welcome, welcome to Never Tuck Your Town Radio, the MOR VOH Basketball Experience. I am your humble, gracious, and very, uh, I said gracious already, dang. Uh, yeah, I am your host, Brother DSP. Thank you for listening. Um, we have a very, 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 that's a lot of very, right? A lot of very. Very special guest today, uh, Donald Felice. Am I saying the last name correctly? All right, all right, cool, cool. Donald Felice, and um, he's here to represent. Y'all good? Check. Okay, I think we're good now. Oh, good. Yeah, now we good. You good? Check, check. Three. Three. Testing, testing. All right, hey, I'm here. Yeah, hey. we, all right, we're here. Everyone's good. There we go. Good. We got the uh, music turned down. We have a special guest today, Donald Felice of And Sports and Entertainment, correct? Yeah. How you doing, <laughs> brother? How you doing, brother? Thank you for pulling up, man. Thank we you, appreciate thank you, you for you, pulling man. up for sure. Um, uh, Brett Bronson, of course, the commissioner of VOH Basketball, told me that you were coming through, and I was like, oh, dang, I have to do my research. I have to figure Facts. out who this guy is. <laughs> uh-uh. So I'm not just, you know, talking out my behind. And i seen that you were involved in sports, not just sports, and entertainment. That is like, correct. You also have, like, music acts that you get involved with. So can you give, like, a... Uh, uh, a broad explanation of exactly what it is that you do. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us. Oh, Obviously, for sure. this is great to be here representing all our players and clients and yes, staff yes, all over yes. the world. So, awesome. Uh, we got guys everywhere. We're blessed. It's been a long journey. So mm-hmm. what AND Sports is, is basically uh, started out as a basketball agency. Mm-hmm. Um, we grew into three sports now and a side of entertainment. So uh, our entertainment, we have an original band out of Jamestown, New York that we represent, Vintage Gold. Nice. Uh, They jam. They got some really good stuff going on. Obviously, no one's really performing anywhere right now with everything. But uh, And then we work with a cover band that's an international U2 band called Desire. And they're just, uh, I've been to obviously many, many shows with them and, um, We've had fans come up to us and just say, "Wow, you know, I never saw you two, and I feel like I did now." So, really? yeah, if you oh, guys yeah, are, you good. know, Bono fans, yeah, and, yeah, you yeah. Know, obviously, uh, he's got his beliefs and everything makes his music even better to yes. people. And mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, these guys they play all over the world, and you oh, know, they're awesome. stuck in Canada right now. But yeah, oh, yeah, oh, they, <laughs> I haven't seen my boys again. Dave yes. and Tim and the boys in almost a year now. It's crazy, especially now with the way the weather is about to get crazy in Canada. Too? Ooh, oh yeah. man! Well, borders are closed, yeah. so you know yeah. they just extended it again till now December twenty first. So, Whoa. yeah, it's just uh, you know the world Yikes. is crazy. So you have to take every day for what it is and do the best you can. And you know, A and D, we're blessed. We got a lot of good things going on for sure. That's, that's what. That's, that's cool. a good look, man. That's definitely a good look because, oof, being a performer and uh, being stagnant like that, you know, like being not stuck but you know what i mean not being able to perform and get your message out through your music to the people it's rough man it's, yeah it's a rough time you know doing the facebook live free shows because yeah. you can't you know and then i got buddies that are djing just to keep themselves busy and they're getting shut down and stuff so you know wow. what what really is social media now like it's all it's just crazy man it's, it's everything right now you know there's there's people that just don't even do it because they don't have the time so you said you, you right. ha- I know what other sports you you manage but um what what other things do you have in your wheelhouse besides basketball 
Uh, we do football and we do baseball. So okay. uh, my company's blessed. We have a unique uh, process to it. Each division is run separately by their own, you know, vice presidents. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are people that started with me as either coaches or scouts somewhere, either in my organization, because I used to have a basketball team okay. similar to Central Jersey Sharks. I had the Western New York Thunder Snow in the ABA and the PBL for about four years. Okay. Uh, Thunder Snow. Yeah. Okay. Being from Buffalo. <laughs> and, uh, ah, yeah. Okay. I was wondering, yeah. I was like, Thunder Snow. I never, I never heard oh, of that. Oh, it happens there, man. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, went up, I went to school in Brockport, so I know all okay. about having to wrap your face up in the tunnels that you walk underneath so you can actually breathe. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Really? It's it that gets, serious? It gets so cold up there. They oh, have man. an underground tunnel system. So in the wintertime, you can commute by foot. It's like a tundra out there. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. It's <laughs> wow. uh, some of the coldest, craziest snow I've ever seen in my life. And wow. it's, you know, people in North Tonawanda are shoveling and people in Lewiston are cutting their lawns. So <laughs> oh, it's wow. uh, the weather. Yeah. Their, their joke there is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. It'll change. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I hear that, man. I mean, so, what, was, what was the passion? behind you starting the agency uh great question um i was an athlete i raced bicycles similar okay. to what lance okay. armstrong used okay. to do nice. uh, are you better are you better than lance uh no because he did drugs um, oh, man. okay. Yo, so never let's turn just your radio. Right <laughs> Yo, we didn't even throw Gladiator on. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was ready. He was ready. <laughs> he was ready for that. Oh, man. <laughs> that was real spicy. Yeah, right, my fault. I'm that sorry, woke me up. Lance. You know, I got a seven tattoo on my arm. Lance was a great cyclist. Yeah. Just because he cheated at a sport doesn't make him a bad person. Mm, I hear that. You know, so everybody has you know mistakes and does things. You learn from it. You grow. I mean, it cost him millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. Yes, it did. But what people don't understand as a cyclist he still had to ride those races every day and yeah. you know the drugs they were doing it wasn't like they were shooting something into their ass today and riding better tomorrow it wasn't like that people you know and what they glorified with him would be like catching Tom Brady with you know performance enhancing drugs on Super Bowl Sunday that's how they glorified it mm, and, yeah. you know if, mm. if you break it down and you know he's taken a lot of a lot of crap for it you yeah. know but he's somebody gone gotta on take the he's the first yeah, yeah. when you're yeah. the, when yeah. you're the you're pioneer the yeah. you know they're gonna try to hit you the hardest and That's a fact. do whatever so, they gotta do i you know i raced as a young kid i was i uh, lived in italy for a while i had uh, wow. an accident over there with one of our teammates so uh it didn't go as planned but i was there on and off for three years as a as a young young rider and oh, wow. uh just took that and played soccer my whole life still playing at 51 okay oh yeah wow. yeah Finally, definitely seen that yeah. on the Grand, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. still still with the moves okay, okay. <laughs> that's good man. yeah it's uh i'm blessed you know when you take care of your body as an athlete you you know it when things go wrong you fix it and okay it's, uh, yep. you rest sometimes sometimes you fight through it and um you know with and when i was racing i retired as a pro rider at 41 years old i had most of my success at the end of my career okay and uh um started and on the plane ride home from south america i knew i didn't want to punch a clock yeah. um so I respect it. what what was i going to do for the rest of my life you know mm-hmm. now that cycling kind of i knew it was coming to an end you know mm-hmm. you can only last so long uh and i was already 39 40 mm-hmm. so i i put this together and uh god it's been eight years Wow. Oh, wow, that's good. Congrats, so, man. Yeah, good. we've Congratulations. had Congratulations. Uh, three of our clients have made it to the NFL, although, you know, they all have been injured and none of them are there right now. Uh, you know, to have guys at that level and yeah. be mm-hmm. a part of the growth from yep. junior college, you know, through college, uh, okay. through injuries, adversity, because yep. um, all players deal with it, you yep. know. Yeah. Um, on some, every level. Every level. Yeah. Look at Clay Thompson right now. Yeah. Yes. Dealing with it. Yes. That's rough. Yeah. To get injured man. and then recover and you the season's just about to pop off and, and then, then the you get same injured. injury. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter the time you put in the gym. There's just it's called timing. It's yes. not just yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So and you know, we've we've put something together, uh, you know, uh, our football division, Jerry B and Rod of Houston, Texas, our VP of operations, he's got a list of players. You know, we're watching kids from Notre Dame and big schools all the way down to UB. There's two brothers at UB that are just killing it right now. Okay. So, nice. uh, running back in a DB, the kid had 300 yards rushing the other night. Yeah, oh, wow. I, just, I yeah. just saw him That's on Sports crazy. Center. I just saw him on Sports yeah. Center over wow. the weekend. Yeah. That's wow. crazy. So, our scouts. So shout out to Buffalo. Yeah, amen. So, you know, there's talent all over the country, all over the world. And, God, we've put uh, 
63 basketball players in 37 countries so far. 63 wow. hoopers in 37 countries. That's yeah. crazy. That talk that talk, my man. Great number. You know, but talk one thing talk. I got to bring up, though, there's a lot of, you know, obviously, no matter what you do, haters are motivators. Of mm. course. You know, of That's course. everything. But there's a lot of people out there taking advantage of young players. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Taking their money. Yes. You know, you give them a T-shirt, they run a 40 in cold weather, and then nobody makes a call, and all the scouts are walking away with their pockets lined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these kids, I mean, I've had kids call me that sent guys eight, nine hundred bucks overseas for, you know, this and that, fees, airline tickets. Man, you never send money. If it's mm. a legit sports contract, you don't, you don't send, send money anything. to nobody. Mm. Yeah. Say that way. Say, yeah. say that one more time, man. Say that one more time. I need you. I need you to say that one more time because I, I, I even turned the music down. Say yeah. that one more time, please. You don't send anybody money. Mm. That's true. That's, That's a true. gem. So mm. for all you players out there aspiring, yes. getting into these situations, social media makes it a little bit easier to get in these situations. You heard it here first. Do not send the bag so you would say your agency is more um a mentorship or is it more like just negotiation based no we do it all we have okay. endorsements we negotiate contracts for players we find jobs for players okay we recruit wow. players nice okay. um yeah we pretty much do everything you know we get contracts um we have nfl cfl major league baseball agents that we have affiliates with oh that's good yeah all those you know licenses those guys are all lawyers and stuff i'm a chef mm -hmm. by trade okay you okay. know i, got you. <laughs> hey. I hear so, that <laughs> but you know over the years obviously eight years is a long time to do something like this and mm -hmm. you know we've we've got a great reputation you know the sharks we're partnered with the sharks you guys are having them on in the second part of the show Absolutely. yeah yes, how crazy are. is you know, that right? yeah i mean it's you know once i i called ralph and said hey you know you're on after me so you yeah, better yeah. you better bring it bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> funny man. how that worked out so i'm a, I'm a business guy so what my I'm interested in walk us through when you started this to how you built your team and how you expanded and what it looked like at each stage. Oh, God. Well, it started once again as a basketball thing because mm -hmm. uh, as a company, we signed, I want to say, nine or ten players right, right out away. The gate. Right yeah. out the gate. Wow. You know, and well, what happened is I was hitting up this kid from uh, Lemoyne. Maybe it was, I think it was Lemoyne. Uh, you know, first thing he said is, you know, do you have a website? And I was like, yes, yeah. so I gave him the website because, you know, that's what all people are about now. You know, yeah, of course. You know, so then he said, who do you represent? And I was like, uh, nobody. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. But you got to start somewhere. Got to start exactly. somewhere. Uh, you know, Ken Yell went on and had a great career, played in, I think, three or four different countries. Wow. Nice. Um, you know, we've we've passed on, but, you know, when I see him on social media, we both like our stuff. So, uh, hey, man, you made him some money. Yeah. He yeah, made so. you some money. What else can you ask for? You man? know, and, It's and, business. It's not personal. And, and how the agency grew was, uh, you know, I had nine guys that weren't going to get an opportunity. Um, so I had to create an opportunity. So I started the Thunder Snow, which I mentioned. Create yeah. your own. Played nice. in the PBL for a couple of years and the ABA for a couple of years. And then uh, some guy wanted one of my jerseys and we wanted to do a jersey exchange. He was a f disc golf, like uh -huh. frisbee golf football team out okay. in Flagstaff, uh -huh. Arizona mm -hmm. <laughs> called the Flagstaff Thunder Snow. So oh, he wow. wanted the logo. He nice. wanted all the stuff. And so wow. when I was ready to get out and focus more on growing the agency, um, something had to give. So, yes. so yeah. you sold the brand. Uh, yeah. Smart. The, 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 <laughs> the time came. Uh, we got rid of the Thunder Snow. It served its purpose. You mm -hmm. know, Jose Ortiz, shout out, one of my first clients that I ever signed with the Thunder Snow, nice. you know, drafted and all this stuff through the PBL, which was a legit, you know, minor basketball league back before the TBL. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, the TBL is a good league, you know. Um, there's opportunities for players. So yeah. we did that, and then we grew to football. I had a couple football players hit me up, and next thing you know, uh, we had, God, 25 football players now. Wow. So 25? Just, yeah, wow. it just kind of grew. When you sign a guy like Dalen Bunton mm -hmm. and, you know, All-American nose tackle yes. out of uh -huh. uh, North Carolina State, yeah. you know, you get Dorian Polk, All-American, Albany. I mean, some of the guys we've signed. Mm -hmm. The right. word you know, starts getting out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And then when you talk. treat them well and uh, yeah. you, you go places, I mean, God, we first started, I put guys in my car. 
mm, and wow. drove them, you know, to Chicago, Illinois. And Wait, in, the, in that Porsche box? And, oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Not the Porsche. <laughs> Not the Porsche. He wasn't Porsche. ready for that. Yeah, wow. Uh-oh. That was that's a beautiful that, car, hey, man. I, that, oh, yes. That's all right. You can hurt me that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Are you involved with the um, NBXL at all or the pro brand? Um, I thought I saw it on your page. Um, I can't remember the uh, young man's name. He's starting his own league, and he also has a shoe brand called the pro brand. And I thought you were oh, involved Oh, in New York that. City, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Um, I'm sorry I forgot his name, but yeah. yeah I can't remember his name either. He's done a lot I of good bad. things for minor league basketball. Okay. Yeah, he's got his own shoe. Okay. And, um, we're, you know, we don't like collaborate or anything, but I've mm-hmm. known him for a long time. Okay. And, you know, I, I forgot his name. I, it's been a while because I don't really focus on basketball anymore. Our okay. Basketball I mean, you division, got so yeah, much. Yeah, we yeah. Just, we're all over the place, and now we're doing baseball. We just signed... Uh, Marcellus Holloway, he was a major league baseball player and drafted by the Kansas City Royals. He just signed with us as one of our front office people and one of our scouts now. Um, So, you know, this dude's been drafted. He knows what it takes. Mm -hmm. So now he's working with Thomas Eaton who was uh, our vice president of baseball operations, and he's got a couple young men. And we've got, I think, you know, a database of about 20 players we're working with mm. just for baseball um, just for baseball wow but like baseball the rules are a little different because okay. a kid can be in high school and you can sign with an agent if oh, you, you know wow. none of the other sports can you do that no so I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah yeah i did not know that oh yeah Either. so and if he doesn't get drafted um then he wants to go to college and say take that scholarship and go play college ball you fire his agent and you go to college Oh, so wow. how come, yeah. So how come baseball has like a that leniency a insurance? Yeah. That's like a insurance right there. Yeah, that's just how it works because yeah. you know there are some kids in high school that can come out that are that good and they'll get mm-hmm. drafted and go into you know the rookie ball in Arizona yes. and then oh, okay. work their way up to Class A and Double A. Like the, wow. it's a process. So how so, do you feel about the? I'm sorry to cut you off. Z. No, how do you feel about the Boulders? Is that a good uh, franchise, good organization? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody that puts people in the crowd and, and sells shirts and, and gives players an opportunity, you know, and treats them well, that's, you know, doesn't matter what level it is. All right, mm. just making sure. Cause, yeah. Because that's the Rockland Boulders, all right? And this is Never <laughs> Tuck Your Town Radio, so you right. better say the right that's things right. out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Shout out to the Boulders. <laughs> getting my Porsche and speed away. <laughs> <laughs> Not the push. Not the push. <laughs> um, so what? So we obviously, ba- uh, VOA basketball is a big part of what goes on and why this radio show exists today. So, what would be your advice to the guys that are just trying to get that look and end up in a situation dealing with Don or somebody like you um, to get to that next level? Yeah, uh, do your research. You know, there's there's everything out there. You know, between social media and the Google, everything, you, word of mouth, there's a lot of players out there. Check, you know, make sure your agent knows what he's doing, mm-hmm. you know, has some credentials. You know, some guys can do things without it. Some guys can't. You know, mm-hmm. it all depends on what kind of agent they are. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a reason why we're in the position we're in. It's not just because mm-hmm. of me. It's because of the people I have around me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, nice. I've built a staff that, you know, when a decision comes up, y- y- you go at them. Otherwise, why have them work for right. you? Yeah, exactly. You know, That's and they true. help you make that decision. And then if it's a good or a bad one, it's not always on you. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. there's a teamwork. There's a team, just like any sport. Mm-hmm. You know, people look at my website and say, wow, you got 25 football players. I said, yeah, I got one for every position on the team Yeah, or on the field. You know, (laughs) if you look at it like that. (laughs) It's true. My man is talking that (laughs) talk. It's very true. He came in here real spicy, man. (laughs) You got 11 on 11. So Uh there's a lot of, you know, in in American football. And, you know, there's a new league coming in Europe. There's, Mm -hmm. you know, multiple arena leagues. Yes. Um, Connor Hollenbeck, shout out Iowa Barnstormer. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that story with Kurt Warner. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, quarterback bagging groceries mm-hmm. and goes to an open tryout and wins a Super Bowl later on the, in his career. Yes. And crazy. He started with the later. Iowa Barnstormers. Yep. That's so, crazy. so you pretty much have organic connections at all levels. Yeah, we're blessed. That is that but is But it's cool. hard work that got us there. Yeah. 
You know, so and, that's key. And, and that is a beautiful thing. Man. Yeah, not everything works out as planned. Obviously, with COVID, you know, all of our mm-hmm. clients lost their opportunities, mm-hmm. and every band lost their gig. Mm-hmm. But guys are in the gym; they're working out. You know, we've been growing my company just like by front office and staff and scouts. Not really taking on a lot of players. Uh-huh. Uh, we've brought in a couple players recently because it's getting to be that time. Yeah, um, it's mm-hmm. business as usual. That's cool. You that's know, cool. that's that's how you grow. That's how you learn. Um, and we're doing it every day, you that's know, what, and, cool. and the biggest thing is, you know, we got 40 clients that believe in our vision, that we believe in their vision. Mm. Some of these kids played at NAIA schools, mm. you know, and they're all Americans. And when you're yeah. an All-American, you don't just have one good game. You nah. have a lot of Second, good games. Yeah. Hey, listen, yeah, yeah. trust me, yeah. you're, not right? telling, you're not telling me anything. <laughs> I hate, hate, hate when dudes come into my league and they start with their credentials of where they played. Mm. I don't care where you played because I got some dude that probably never played at your level that tonight is yeah. looking at you like a free meal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you better chill with your credentials and put this ball in the basket yeah. and earn a nickname and get your things going before you come in here and telling me what you've done in the past. Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody and cares. Keep working. And I agree. Exactly. And, you know, going back to our days that we played uh, the Rochester Razor Sharks, if you remember them. Okay. Back in the PBL, they were a basketball team that, from Rochester, New York, played in the Blue Cross Arena. You know, okay. they'd pack six. Wait, did they, were they uh, around when LeBron got drafted? Were they in that in that arena? Uh, was that 2003? I, that was 2003. Yeah, they were definitely around. So I went to, funny story, I went to one of their games, because, I, again, I went to school in Brockport at that time. Yep. So, and LeBron was supposed to come. The Cavs did one of their pregames out of that arena. And LeBron didn't play, unfortunately. He just sat on the bench. But <laughs> right. that's how he I was remember. there. That's yeah. why I even, he was there. So it was pretty crazy that you even – you probably in the, in the house at that moment. Yeah, yeah I don't know about that. But, we, you know, <laughs> once again, as a coach and an owner of a team, you know, we got to go in the locker room through mm. the tunnels, you know, and you get to nice. go through an arena like that. Yeah, it's – that's a, it's that's pretty a cool, and they put a floor yeah. down so guys can play a game. Mm, nice, you know. And then when the game's over, they pick the floor, pick up, floor up. So up. yeah, you know, that's the reality of it. And for the next show, yeah, yeah. exactly. What you do know. you What do you look for in a potential client? Ooh, just obviously, you know, the player's got to not just be a good player. He's it's the character. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at a football. You know, the game's sixty minutes. You know, what do you do the rest of the week? You know, other than the NFL, you know, the lower level guys, those are the guys, the grinders that are in the gym putting in their work. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the the pros, obviously, they're still doing that. But however they got to that level, Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's obviously a little different. Yes. Um, But yeah, I mean, it's. That's how it works. So character is a really big thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Character is huge, you know, because okay. he's got to be a teammate in the locker room, you know, Makes depending on what position he's at. Mm-hmm. You know, if he's a point guard or a quarterback, he's going to be signing autographs with little kids are going to buy his jersey. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, how often do you see kids ask for an autograph on number 77? Although I love my linemen. So <laughs> Shaq, <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> we love you, man. We love Please. you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a pancake, Shaq. <laughs> Them trench workers. <laughs> now, you know, Shaq Wallen's an athlete, football client of ours, uh, not to break subject, but what he just played in the spring league in San Antonio, you okay. know, where they, they brought a bunch of players in for, it's supposed to be six weeks, but then they had a little breakout of the COVID thing, and oh, man. Uh, they, they only played three games, but, you know, there's a lot of guys that were there that had been in the NFL, and, you know, Shaq played at, at a great college. He had, he's had a great career. He signed with the, uh, I believe, the Orlando Predators in the NAL, okay. which is, you know, among the top arena leagues right now in nice. the country. Um, so, yeah, he's blessed. You know, oh, we got nice. we got a lot of guys with jobs next year. I hope this, lot yeah. of this shit goes away. A lot yeah, of blessings I was going to ask you how. Wait, how, hold, how, hold, how hold, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what, oh, my bad. Hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> my man, there's no, <laughs> there's no foul language oh, on this I'm station. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, we need we, you to we, make we, a donation. We're going to talk about your, your feel good energy products. <laughs> yes. And you will be making a donation for Kirsten. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but the show must go on. So I was going to say, um, <laughs> it's all good because I have a question lined up. How, how, how close to your life is the show Ballers? Like, are you the rock Ooh. in the show Ballers? That's a, That's a great question. You want to hear my answer? The yeah, honest your, smile, truth? your smile is telling me more than you're, you're going to watch me. it. 
Oh, yeah, right. Here we go. Real? I don't. I don't even watch television. <laughs> no, I watch a lot of sports. My girl kills me because I do it, you okay. know, but that's how I get to scout a lot. But no, I don't okay. watch it. I used to watch Our List. Our List was great. Remember Our List? Yes. yes. I saw the commercial. I never yeah, saw yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our List was all right. That's our List was good. He, he had an episode where he was in the World Series and he had the pitcher. <laughs> yeah, and the pitcher, he was going to have to go against him in uh, fantasy, so he traded him. <laughs> 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 Do what you gotta do. You gotta okay, do I gotta remember. Do. I remember my question. Go ahead, DSP. How 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 badly did COVID affect business? Oh, it shut everything down. Other than our doors, you know, we we mm-hmm. continued to do what we did. But yeah, all our mm-hmm. players lost their jobs. You know, every band lost their gig. Oh, you know, uh, Desire had a show on Seaside Heights in Jersey, which is you know I'm in oh, Jersey man. now, so that's pretty much in my backyard. And uh, yeah. we had some nice plans for that weekend in the end of September. And yeah, everything. So it's, you know, hopefully next year things will pick up and we get through this year and, you know, don't lose a lot more lives, figure out what yeah. it is, start yeah. treating it. And I think once we do that, we should be okay. Um, you know, I've been blessed to be healthy the whole time. And, Me too. You know, <laughs> uh, we haven't really had any contact with a lot. We have a very small group of people we've been okay. just kind of chilling with. And, mm-hmm. you know, I haven't been attending what games and what workouts there are. I haven't really been. It's mm-hmm. just been all phone calls for the last. So you've been working remotely most of the oh, time? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not been much in the gym anywhere. I mean, as you know, you know, it's been hard to get a gym, even go work out. So, yeah, exactly. you know, I was blessed to play, what, I think 11 soccer games games myself but that's outside that's outside yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah more lenient. Yeah, our yeah. 35 and up we only played four games right yeah and, and then we had to shut down, down, shut down yep. Yep. yeah no so. we had we started our season in uh like mid-august mm-hmm. and then uh i think we ended up the end of october so like the last wow. second to last weekend of october and mm-hmm. i play with the norwalk mariners they're a great bunch of guys out of, out of norwalk connecticut okay and, uh just wanted to get out and do something yeah and, so they're they're great. It, you got to be in shape for soccer, man. That's a different, yeah. that's well, a different type that's of shape, man. You do, but cardio. I'm the goalie, so I don't really. Ah, ah, see, I okay. knew you guys were gonna say that. Ah, smart man. Ah. Smart man. Where my man Stewart at? Where my man Stewart at, yo? I'm tired of this said, guy. Uh, I'm the goalie. So <laughs> I don't have to do all that. You guys, yeah. See you later. Yeah, you guys can do all those run, miles. Run the laps. But in my defense, I am an active goalie. Okay, okay, okay. I come out to the top of my box i'm mm. very vocal that's, yes that's, that's why they this team like me because i take charge and nice i know, like that i like I, that uh, my soccer coach uh goal coach brian alinsky shout out out in rochester he's got a goalkeeping academy nice. uh i got ta- a goalkeeper for you bro yeah yeah, yeah i don't do soccer though oh man yeah. he, won, he won mls championships come and all on that. i'm telling you yeah, yeah we gotta i'm gonna send you his information <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean even if you don't do soccer maybe you, first could, guy? maybe you could plug him into some yeah, workouts maybe, maybe we can get him an endorsement deal if he's in the mls he is yeah i yeah. mean all right we're gonna talk yeah, about that know, behind right the scenes so before we get tell us yes. about total package energy yeah brother. so jay thomas hopefully you're listening out of california jay thomas is uh not just a, a business partner of mine but uh, a great friend we've we've come a long way over the years uh, we started Total Package Energy Shot a few about five six years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a, a, an energy shot that was made in a pharmaceutical lab. Really good product, real consistent product. But the energy shot market just got to be so saturated that mm-hmm. you know who knew what people were grabbing on the counters mm-hmm. in little convenience stores, whatever. So we uh, have moved over now to a, a pea protein uh, mm-hmm. that I actually okay. use myself. That's what I and, use too. Yeah, we use a pea protein. It's Mm -hmm. really good stuff. Um, And then what I brought with us today is the new nanotechnology, which is uh, basically they're they're like energy gels Mm. uh, that are eight times stronger than like a a, a bottle or a tablet type thing. Oh, wow. Um, And we're doing the vitamin C, B12. We've got just a a healthy nutrition one. Uh, We've got the vitamin D coming out soon. And, you know, these are just things that the immune system, especially right now, what's Mm -hmm. going on. Yes. Um, I mean, believe it or not. Not like, you know, and I used to tell Jay, I didn't take the energy shots. I got enough energy. If I start doing energy shots, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So bouncing everywhere. Yeah, I'm lucky to sleep three, four hours a night with my schedule. So if I start doing that. But it was great product. We had a lot of athletes. Devontae Mays, uh, who played with the Green Bay Packers for a couple Mm -hmm. years, was drafted Mm -hmm. about four years ago, Mm -hmm. three years ago now. Um, You know, we got that picture with him sitting in his locker with his Packers you know stuff on 
Money talks, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's it's that's a great great product. People can order it. TotalPackageEnergy.com. There you go. Um, there you go. Yeah, we got some really good stuff. It ships out out of Jersey. We've got a warehouse in Jersey. Never nice. talk your time. Um, yeah. And once again, guys, thanks for the opportunity to be here. Thank you. Great, Thank you. Great chit chatting with you guys. And ah, you're a great guest, man. Thanks. Sure. Appreciate sure, it. Sure, Before man. you go, though, we actually have a special game next week that we're going to be hosting. Uh, it's going to be the family against uh, Team 57. Um, I really feel like there's a lot of guys in this game that you could check out. That uh, yeah. have something going on. Yeah, so, um, sure. oh, yeah. uh, we're going to be running it through the live so you can see it remotely. I'll definitely send it to you. Send yeah, you the link and do. all that because uh, I shout think there's out. some guys that you shout can definitely check out. Shout out to Ricky the Real. Shout out to another Curry. Shout out to Walking Dead. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> there's going to be, yeah. yeah. be some a guys. Lot of These guys are real. There's going to be man. some guys yeah. that I really want you to see. And, yeah. and furthermore, you know, now that we have you here, um, now that we, you know, we've connected organically, I can't wait for you to check out our guys once the league starts up again, because I really feel like the talent that we bring through our doors, you'll be impressed with and you'll be able to help get to the next level, you know? Yeah, and there's there's always that diamond in the rough we're looking for and, and you never got, know what gym they're in. And they got great character. Yeah. yeah. I know that's important. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thank you again. You know, once again. again. Sure. All right, so let's get up out of here. We're going to run the tunes. Yes. And then we're going to take a phone call. Oh, okay. And then we're going to get into our second guest. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Donald, thank, thank you, you again, again, guys. Thanks for pulling up, man. Thank you. A &D. Have a great day. Thank you very much. A&D. A&D. <laughs>